Your JES tower cam at Santerra Martha Jefferson Hospital throughout the course of today has waves of rain and waves of drizzle rolling across central Virginia. We've been cloudy and drizzly all day long. Hasn't accumulated to a whole lot, less than a tenth to a quarter of an inch across many locations in the CBS 19 News viewing area with bigger showers ongoing in and around Richmond and also off to the south of us. And speaking of areas to the south of us, southern Albemarle County, we're looking at a nice wave of rain rolling into the city of Charlottesville as we speak. Also, that wave of rain moving towards Lovingston along US 29 in Nelson County. A couple more bigger showers ongoing near Graves Mill and Syria in northern Madison County. And all of this, again, moving from south to north across the region. So look immediately south of you, and that's what you can expect for the next couple of hours. Well, if you look immediately south of the city of Charlottesville and surrounding areas, not a whole lot of rain immediately south of us. Us. So we're not looking at the inches upon inches of rain like they're experiencing near Martinsville, over near Danville, also up towards Roanoke and Richmond. They saw a tremendous amount of rain last night. They're seeing even more rain right now. And again, all of this is thanks in part to a massive feed of tropical moisture stretching all the way from Cuba through the Bahamas. And notice it's aimed right at us here in central Virginia, so we're not quite done with the rain yet. Now, as we go through the day tomorrow, different story. Let's time it out here on your Futurecast tonight. Have those umbrellas on standby around 9, 10, 11 o'clock. Locally, heavy rain is a possibility as more is expected to develop immediately south of us. And then again, it's going to lift north as it's been doing over the past couple of days. Saturday morning, we're looking at a couple of spotty showers. And then as we get into Saturday afternoon and beyond, the line of showers starts shifting a little bit more to the east. And tomorrow afternoon, yeah, we could actually be looking at maybe a little bit of sunshine. Now, as we head into Sunday in the morning, cloudy, and then Sunday afternoon, yeah, we actually forecast a fair amount of sunshine, maybe a stray shower or two in the afternoon. So how much more rain are we expecting over the next couple of days? Well, the purples indicate about an inch and a half to two and a half inches on top of what we've already seen. So a lot more rain is on the way over the next 36 hours. You match Gallagher Group 7A forecast here has a pair of sevens for your Saturday. 87 on Sunday, but drier, but with that added sunshine, well, we have a lot of moisture in the ground, and that's going to help uh, get us rather humid. It's going to be incredibly humid on Sunday, so be aware of that. 86 with more chances for rain arriving Monday and Tuesday before we finally, finally have a chance to dry out for a couple of days late next week. However, longer-term computer models are highlighting the chance for a oh, Quite a bit more rain for Memorial Day weekend. You know, my sunglasses are getting rusty. <laughs> really. I lost mine. I don't know where they are anymore. You don't need them, bud, for yeah, a while. Yeah, pretty Just much. Next week or so. <laughs> exactly. All right. All right thanks. thanks Joining an eye on the nation now, a man in Florida.